wait, I saw this fake account soon. I need to check. I saw the verified part. I was like, what? This is it. I screamed. Boy Spice. Boy Spice is um, the last born of seven kids. was born and brought up in Lagos, Nigeria. His real name is Bukile David. He's 20. He loves his space, his personal space for once that's doing this craft, it can be as outgoing as possible, you know. But Spice is um, a determined person in his vision. Once he set his mind, he wants to get it done. He will do everything to make sure he gets what he wants. He loves music, he loves family, he loves creative people around him. He has great dreams and inspiration. I want to take care and join with him. It's been a long ride though. It started when I was, I think I was nine or ten, when I used to watch my stepbrother, because my stepbrother was an artist, they had a band. I used to watch them compose music and record them. I started listening to their records. I'm like, oh, I like what they're doing. They like it's so beautiful to see somebody write with a pen and like cancel and write and cancel books and so don't make something beautiful so i wanted to do that so that was what like sparked the interest in me i started writing songs since then and I just say the rest is history <laughs> okay so i did the freestyle when i was in the academy um ever since i've gotten into the academy just because i've been re recording songs and trying to improve on my craft i was neglecting my social media so i decided to do a freestyle to remind my fans that i'm still around so i just did the cover like no promo or anything i just put it out there and Everybody was loving it. Like I was even scared. Like what's going on? <laughs> Is somebody paying people behind me to do this? So it was just I'll just say it's the grace of God and the hard work I've been putting in to better my craft. Mm. It was a spiritual one because I always had this feeling, in this part of me, that I was going to be signed to me. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I always had this feeling. And Jazzy messaged me on a very, very special day on Christmas Day 2019. I will never forget. Christmas morning, I had no Christmas clothes. I was angry with my parents because I didn't understand that there was no money. I just wanted to go out with my friends and everything. So I was sad. I just got a message from Jazzy, and the message didn't even look like something that would come from me. He just said, um, he gave me this hands raised emoji and i'm like wait i saw this fake account too. i need to check i saw the verified value i was like what this is him i screamed so my mom ran from the kitchen my sister came i showed them i couldn't believe my eyes so i actually cried that 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 money and my mom just prayed for me she said everything is going to be fine that this is the beginning of a new journey for me we linked up in the studio. I joined the academy and started recording and planning on how to take over the world. It's been really good. Like, I saw the changes myself. The person I was going in, into the academy is not the same person I am now. Like, back then, I was struggling to even find my sound. But now I can say that I have found my own sound. I have found my own unique source that I'm bringing. You know, apart from even the music, I learned about how to keep relationships with people, how to um, work as a team. Because I was independent, doing everything by myself. But now I learned how to work with a team and how to do things in cooperation. So it's really like changed a lot of me positively. Sometimes I get sometimes I get sad like I've been working and working on to put up something. I, I won't lie, I get sad sometimes, but I always um remind myself that it's for the best and 
good things don't come easy. You know, I know I'm on the right path. So anytime I feel that way, I just brace up and channel it into music. I'm not so far. <laughs> I don't want to suffer. You know, I want to have a good life. I don't want to make money illegally because at some point in my life I was tempted to growing up in a solo. I love my peers because of how the government is and everything. I love I love my peers like resulted into scamming and everything. But I knew I had something great in me and I don't want to follow that it. I want to do something meaningful in my life. And so that fear of suffering of not growing is what drives me. Like I need to make a good life. I need to do better than my parents. I need to have I need to make an impact in this world. If anything happens to me, if I live tomorrow, I want to leave a legacy, a good one. So that's what drives me. Vision of them grooming young artists into global superstars. You know, ever since maybe I um unveiling new artists like my age. It gave me this push like, oh, I see what they're doing. They're trying to take this young talent and refine it and take them to the world. And it was like, I I felt like there were other labels in Nigeria who are also doing this great thing, but it even caught my interest. But most times I just like, well, it's not for people like me, it's not for people from where I come from, you know, probably for kids that their fathers have this amount of money or that say that have this connect. So I didn't really put my mind to it, even though I knew that this was somewhere that I would love to be. I didn't really put my mind on it until I got it takes from Jazzy. Honestly, there are a lot of emotions in my head, you know, like by the grace of God, I can say I have some fans that love me and they love what I do genuinely and they've been waiting for something not posted in a year and they've been waiting a lot of thoughts I get a lot of messages from them asking where am I what am I doing but it hurts me that I can't tell them my plan you know so I just hope on Thursday they understand that I like they you will probably say something I put to so I I'm So I didn't just take a step back because I wanted to rest. I took a step back so I can take multiple steps forward. So I just hope they get to see and themselves would see that the music is even different now. You know, I've improved my songwriting and being it. I've I've improved in every single way. I feel like I'm ready now to take on the world. I feel like I'm prepared, even though I'm going to make mistakes. I know I'm not going to miss as much mistakes because I have the right people. On Thursday evening, the big news, the unveil video. I'm trying to imagine what I'm trying to imagine what it's going to look like, but I never know until it happens. So on Thursday, the unveil video, and on Friday, 12 a.m., my project is going to come out for Spice EP beautiful project like i'm anticipating the project <laughs> when the project drops i'm going to stream it as as a random listener because that project is fire so i just hope um my i just hope my music meets people in the right space you know every single time i write a song i write a song with um a vision in my mind i, I write a song with like okay imagine i am in this state of mind what are the words I'm going to say? So that's why I put in my music through emotions, through feelings. So I just hope people relate to my music and understand. Friday I'm gonna have an I'm going to have my own view party. So we all shares and family and devoting is gonna be there. We're gonna just merry, have fun, listen to the projects. You know, it's, it's the beginning of a new dawn. So I'm excited, very excited.
I want people to look at me and say I can do this thing. That's what I'm about. I'm about motivation. You know, I've always been that guy that people always sideline. I've always been that guy that people look down on and people look at me like, oh, I'm big, go rest, you know. So I just want other people out there to look at me and know that success is not only for the rich people, it's not only for people that are privileged. You can come from nothing and still find your way and still make something out of your life, you know. You don't have to wait until you have all the resources. And I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that that video went viral because that vi that video showed the struggling part of my life that a lot of people would look back at and trace the steps. You know, I want them to be able to trace the steps. I don't want to sell this whole um, false image of I got everything overnight. I want people to see the hard work. I want people to see me when I even fail sometimes. You know, I want them to see me fail. I want them to see me rise up back. I want them to see me win too. I want them to see me laugh and cry. I just want to be real and live my life. I'll just say, open your mind. You know? Open your mind when you're listening to the songs because the songs are going to hit you. The EP has different moods, you know. Dreams could make you have goosebumps. But are you going to put in your dancing shoes for sure? Destiny is going to be it's going to reconnect you to your home. You know? There are a lot of great songs there that I know they're gonna love, definitely gonna love. So I just pray for God's grace, you know, it's not just by your talent. I want people to see something in me and know that I'm on a mission so I know there are some people who are already invested to see how this journey goes I know there are some people who are going to get convinced on the way and I know there are some people that will never get convinced but I just know I'm doing great music and I just want you to enjoy it <laughs>